Hello, this is Jessica from Anvil Analytics and Insights, and today I wanted to give a quick tutorial on how to create and apply a custom segment in Google Analytics. So to start with, we're going to come up here and click Add Segment. In this pop-up, we're going to click Add New Segment, and then we're going to give our segment a name. So for this demonstration, I'm going to create a segment that views sessions that contain a blog page view. So we'll name it Anvil Insights sessions containing a blog view. Now over here on the left hand side you can kind of flip through these different tabs and look at all of the different ways that you can create a segment. You can see here there are several. For this example we're going to come down here to conditions. We're going to change add content to page and then all of our blog pages contain backslash blog. So we're going to leave this as contains and then put in our URL that are the piece of our URL that is the same for all of our blog pages. And then over here on the right side, you can see how many users and how many sessions are included in this segment for this given date range. So the next thing I want to point out is that if we were going to create another segment, that excluded everybody that viewed a blog page view. So you could see how people that viewed a blog and how people that did not view a blog behave differently on the site. We would go here and choose exclude instead of include. Now, right now we have session, sessions checked. So everybody are all sessions that include a blog page view are going to be included in here. If we would choose users, we would get all of the sessions from all of the users that viewed a blog page, regardless of whether or not all of those sections actually included a blog page view. So the last thing that you need to check before you click save is the segment availability. So it automatically defaults to, I can apply and edit the segment in any view in my Google Analytics account. You have two other options. One is that you can view and apply this segment to just in this view. The third one, which is great for teams, we use it a lot here at Anvil, is that collaborators can also see and edit this segment in this view. So if you're working with a team, this is definitely the option to go with. You'll click OK once you decide, and then you'll click Save. From here, the segment will automatically apply to the report that you were looking at before you started creating it. And then if you go over here and navigate to any of these different reports, this segment will be persistent. So if you ever do need to remove it, you'll have to go in and manually remove it just like that. But that's really all there is to know about custom segments in Google Analytics. We will be hosting several more of these tips and tricks and how-to videos over the course of the next month. So if you would like to stay up to date on all of the topics that we'll be covering, Definitely come to our website and subscribe to our newsletter.